We've got the Express and Lee Anderson's tough talking over illegal immigrants has raised the hackles of Diane Abbott. But has she got off on the wrong foot, Nicholas? Um, good, good story, because it is winding up all the right kind of people. <laughs> uh, the Express title is Diane Abbott loses plot over Lee Anderson's F off back to France illegal migrant dick. Uh, dick. Uh, and obviously, the central point is the distinction between illegal migrant and a presumed asylum seeker, a distinction mm. that the left and the mainstream media do not want to acknowledge, because Lee Anderson's comment uh, initially was about illegal migrants. And we don't know, uh, before somebody has applied for asylum, we don't know if they are asylum seekers yeah. or not. And of course, there's all the good reasons to, to believe that most of these people are not. They are economic migrants. Uh, other, uh, international law says if you're fleeing for your life, you should ask for asylum in the first in the uh, safe place. And the first safe place, as we were just discussing, is Turkey, is Jordan, is uh, Iran for people of Afghanistan, or Pakistan for people of Afghanistan, yeah. and so on. So they've come through a number of safe countries. Before they've got to France, and they've been like, well, this, yeah, they this still isn't France, good enough. They <laughs> Italy. <laughs> I mean, uh, aren't we tired of comedians who say, uh, who, who take a dig at France? You know, I like France. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are Italians, um, trans-alpine cousins, we call them. Uh, but yeah, you've all heard the jokes, how terrible France must be for these people fleeing for their lives to <laughs> snob it because they want to come to live in Birmingham or something. Well, I, th I think the, the waiters can be, can be rude. Um, I don't know if that counts as a war zone, though. But, I mean, uh, Josh, don't you think uh, Lee Anderson's language, it, it can alienate some of the people you want to bring with you? On the, you know, if you want to convince, convince them of the, the need to tackle illegal immigration, you don't want to be using this kind of rhetoric. Well, the thing is, and uh, because, Nicholas, you're not here that often, it's lovely to have you here, but, like, we work here in the office, and this is so typical Lee. Like, we know what it's like working with him, and he's just effing and blinding all over the place. You can't blame him for that. That's just what he does, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I don't know, I've never met him. <laughs> I don't know. But I will say this. What does uh, your Uncle Terry think of it? <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, he... Um, the thing is that there is hypocrisy here in that the Express would just be like, he's just, he's just being Lee, isn't it? And then, but at the same time, if it had been a Labour MP using this kind of language, yep. they would be like... Calling, you know, but calling for blood. A Labour MP would never use this language because obviously a Labour MP, and the reason Labour, I mean, this is the, the secret reason mm. they want, you know, open borders that they'll never admit to. They think that everybody who comes over the border is going to vote Labour. So that's why they want to swell the, you know, the, the, the sort of non British portion of, of Britain. Well, you know, uh, but, but what's going on? Uh, here is, you know, his statement was taken out of context in that, yeah, as you said, it was asylum seekers versus illegal migrants. But also he said the people very clearly about it's the people who say no to going on to the boat you know, whilst their it, claim it, is being read. So yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not just like a big F whatever to yeah. anybody seeking a, a, migration. A genuine asylum seeker who is really fleeing persecution or fleeing for their lives wouldn't be, uh, you know, wouldn't complain about being housed in a barge. You know, yeah. I, used, I used to be an interpreter for some of these claims. You know, again, uh, <laughs> lawyers uh, and legal studios who do this with taxpayers' money, they were suing the British government because during COVID pandemic, they were housed in some military barracks. Yeah. Same barracks that British military personnel were housed. <laughs> yeah. you know, and they were like, yeah, we, what, 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 where would you have wanted to be, to be housed? In the middle of the West End. And it wouldn't have made any difference because it was a lockdown. Yeah. You see, we know they've lost... The, we know they are lying to us because even mainstream media's narrative is not saving their lives anymore. They talk about seeking a better future, which is code for economic migrant. Yeah, if yeah. somebody barges into this studio with a machine gun, I'm going to say, guys, get down, get out, save your lives. I'm not going to say, guys, get out, seek a better future. <laughs> uh, that's, An that's interesting perspective from somebody with some experience of the issue.